It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be finding unit rate using fractional parts. Here's our question today. We have a faucet that leaks five-ninths of a liter of water in two-fifths of an hour. At this rate, what will be the amount of water in liters that the faucet will leak in one hour? Here's where I would like you to pause the video, do your best work, considering these four answer choices, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we have a faucet that is leaking five-ninths of a liter of water in two-fifths of an hour, and we want to determine at this rate how much water will it leak in one hour from these four answer choices. So the first thing I'm going to do is understand that this is a rate, liters per hour. So let's write it as a fraction or a ratio, five-ninths in two-fifths of an hour. This is what we call a complex fraction. One method to simplifying a complex fraction is to rewrite it as a division problem because this fraction or ratio bar also represents a division symbol. So let's do that. This is equivalent to five-ninths divided by two-fifths. These are the same thing. They mean the same thing. This is a ratio. This is a, an expression using division. So to divide fractions, we're going to understand that we are going to multiply by the reciprocal. You might have heard keep, change, flip as you were going through school. So we're going to write another equivalent expression. We're going to take 5 ninths and we're going to change division to multiplication and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of two-fifths. Two-fifths, to find the reciprocal, you flip it. So it becomes five halves. You change the location of the numerator and denominator. If you multiply these two together, you get one. That's a unique relationship for all reciprocals. All right, now we need to simplify this to find our correct answer. So we're going to multiply our fractions. We're going to first multiply our numerators. 5 times 5 is 25. Now we're going to multiply our denominators. 9 times 2 is 18. This is in simplest form. 25 only has factors of 5, and 18 does not have a factor of 5. We can see this is also an improper fraction, meaning our numerator is larger than our denominator. So therefore, we can eliminate answer choice A, answer choice B, answer choice C, and answer choice D appears to be the right answer, but it's written as a mixed number. So let's go and rewrite our improper fraction as a mixed number. So 18 goes into 25 once with 7 left over. 25 subtract 18 is 7. So 1 and 7 eighteenths liters in one hour gives us our unit rate answer choice D. And there you have it. That is how you find the unit rate using fractional parts. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.